hello students this particular video is about the connecting links missing links their examples with explanation you can visit my channel biology by arshi for more such information now let's see what is a connecting link the organisms exhibiting characters of two adjacent groups are called as connecting link they afford very good examples of organic evolution wo organism jo do groups ke characters ko show karte hain unhe hum connecting link kehte hain aur ye bahut acha example provide karte hain hame organic evolution mein missing link the extinct connecting link is known as missing link wo connecting links jo ab extinct ho chuke hain unko hum missing links kehte hain virus it is the connecting link between living and non living non living feature lack of growth and metabolism cell organelles remain absent living feature it undergoes mutation and reproduction euglena it is a connecting link between plants and animals animal feature body is covered by pellicle cell wall is absent reproduction like animals plant feature it has chlorophyll and chloroplast nutrition is autotrophic rickettsia it is a connecting link between virus and bacteria virus feature it cannot live in artificial nutrient environment bacterial feature it is a genus of non motile gram negative non spore forming bacteria present as cocci rods or thread like forms actinomyces it is a connecting link between bacteria and fungi bacterial feature actinomyces species may form endospores while individual bacteria are rod shaped fungal feature actinomyces colonies form fungus like branched networks of hyphae myxomycetes it is a connecting link between protista and fungi hornworts it is a connecting link between protista and bryophytes club moss it is a connecting link between bryophytes and pteridophytes cycas and pteridosperm Pteridosperm is the fern with seed. Pteridosperm is the missing link whereas cycas is the connecting link. They are the connecting links between pteridophytes and gymnosperms. Proterospongia it is a connecting link between protozoa and porifera. The protozoan character it is a colonial protozoan it forms colonies poriferan character it cells are similar to coanocytes or collar cells of sponges xenoterbella it is a connecting link between protozoa and metazoa netum it is a connecting link between gymnosperms and angiosperms tinofora it is a connecting link between cnidaries and platyhelminths trochophore larva and neopelaina they are the connecting links between annelida and mollusca annelid feature presence of trochophore larva mollusk character presence of shell and mantle neopelaina is the only segmented mollusk Peripatus it is a connecting link between annelida and arthropoda annelid character continuous muscle layer in body wall thick cuticle unjointed legs and nephridia arthropod character presence of claws jaws hemocoel trachea and dorsal tubular heart tornaria larva it is a connecting link between echinodermata and chordata 
Balanoglossus, it is a connecting link between chordates and non-chordates. It is a protochordate. Chordate character, it has notochord, tubular nerve cord, pharyngeal gill slits. Non-chordate character, presence of phosphogens, larva body vermiform and dorsal heart. Chimera, it is also called as rabbit fish or rat fish. Connecting link between cartilaginous and bony fish. Cartilaginous fish character. The endoskeleton is cartilaginous. Ventral mouth. Two dorsal fins. Presence of claspers. And placoid scales are present in young only. Bony fish character. Small mouth with fleshy lips. Tooth plates jointed to jaw. Four pair of gills and absence of cloaca. Latimeria and Ichthyostega. They are the connecting links between Pisces and Amphibians. Protopterus. It is also called as a lungfish. It is a connecting link between bony fish and Amphibia. Bony fish character. Paired fins, scales, gills tail muscles, internal ears, lateral line sense organs, amphibian character, internal nostrils, a lung and the heart with imperfectly divided auricle. Simoria, Simoria is the missing link as it has become extinct. Sphenodon is the living fossil lizard. They are the connecting links between amphibia and reptilia. Archaeopteryx. It is the missing link between reptiles and birds. It is also called as lizard bird. Archaeopteryx lithographica fossils were discovered in 1861 by Andreas Wagner from Upper Jurassic Limestone of Solenhofen in Bavaria, Germany. It was the size of a crow. Avian character present in Archaeopteryx. The presence of feathers, rounded cranium with fusion of bones. Four limbs, modified two wings and have three fingers. Presence of four toes in each foot and adapted for perching as birds. Presence of furcula or wishbone. Why this bone is called as a wishbone? This bone is called a wishbone because of an old tradition in western countries. If two people find a wishbone when they are dining, they pull on each side of it. When it breaks, the one who gets the larger part is supposed to have a wish granted. Okay, reptilian character present in Archaeopteryx. Presence of teeth in beak. Each finger ending into claw, long tail with free caudal vertebrae. Ornithorhynchus, also called as duckbill platypus, echidna or the spiny anteater and lysenops. They three are the connecting links between mammals and reptiles. Mammalian feature, memory glands, hair, diaphragm single aortic arc reptilian character large coracoid in pectoral girdle lays eggs with shell and yolk presence of cloaca lysenops it is a connecting link with be between mammals and reptiles lysenops walked and ran with its long legs held close to its body this is a feature found in mammals Lysenops was a member of Therapsids, an order that includes the ancestors of mammals. Thank you. You can like, share and subscribe to my channel.